integrate secant cubed times tangent cubed solution. So we have a tangent here being raised to an odd power. So what we'll do is we're going to save a copy of secant x tangent x. And then we'll let u be secant x and everything should work out. If you had a secant being raised to an even power, you would save a copy of secant squared. Okay, let's do it. So this is going to be secant x, secant squared x, right? Because we're taking out a secant. Uh, tangent squared x. Again, we're taking out a tangent from here. There's a 3 and we're factoring one out. And let's write it over here. Secant x, tangent x, dx. All right, u is going to be, let me go ahead and write it down. u is going to be secant. The problem is here we have a tangent. So we have to use an identity to rewrite this. Now, if you ever forget the identities, just kind of go to the side and play with it. Everyone knows that sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. And then when you look at this, you say, OK, I want to get an identity for tangent. So how do you get tangent? Well, that's sine over cosine. So you divide everything by cosine squared, and you get uh, tangent squared x plus 1 is secant squared. And there's your identity. And from this one, you can get an identity for tangent squared, right? Just subtract 1, so you end up with tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. So if you ever forget, um, it's just a good way to uh, never forget because you can always do this. Okay, so here we have secant squared x. Tangent squared is secant squared x minus 1. And here we have secant x tangent x dx. All right, we said that u was secant x. I'll write it again over here. So u is secant x. So that means du is secant x tangent x dx. All right, so now we're ready to make the substitution. It should be a pretty easy problem now. So u is secant. So this piece here will be become u squared. This piece here will become u squared minus 1, and this piece here will be our du, right? It's right here, du, du, all right, du. Distribute, u squared times u squared is u to the fourth. And then u squared times negative 1 is negative u squared. Parentheses, parentheses, du. And we can integrate using the power rule. So this will be u to the fifth over 5 minus u cubed over 3 plus our constant. And the last thing to do is replace u with secant. So we end up with secant to the fifth power of x over 5 minus secant to the third power of x over 3 plus our arbitrary constant. And that is the final answer.